Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Bass and Bonsai, back in the house. I know, not at the range, not doing any shooting. And you're probably wondering, like me, when are we going shooting? Well, as soon as our batteries get here. Well, they're here. No. Uh, I just wanted to show these real quick. If uh, uh, eBay is not a bad place to get batteries, if you're, I think these are like a, basically a dollar a piece. Uh, but... You know, jump on there, punch in whatever battery you're looking for. I just thought I'd show those because they happen to come today. But we also have another unboxing, and it should be our true Surefire light. These are knockoffs, uh, even this little dude here, who, uh, unfortunately, there is hardly no weight added. The light output isn't that great. Looks cool on a small, uh, either short-barreled or just smaller firearm, and... Stuff like that, but uh, not as much of a fan of it as I thought I would be. So we've got these knockoffs coming from AliExpress. And, uh, I, you know, Timu, Timu, AliExpress, Wish, all that kind of stuff. You know, is it for you? Is it not? Or knockoffs or something? They're not really trying to take over and I don't think truly take money away from Surefire because somebody is probably going to spend $20 for a cheap, funky light that may or may not last. Uh, you know, probably is not going to be the one that's buying the $300 lights for a duty or, you know, I don't know, a very uh, more, I don't even know what you call it, serious firearm over just a range, uh, you know, for uh, as a hobby firearm or something but for me i was never going to spend this much money and honestly the only reason i did and hopefully that's what's in here it'd be kind of weird if it isn't so let's just unbox it and see but i was on looking on ebay and if i'm sure all you guys are familiar with ebay like how you can go in there and bid on stuff and that's where the whole like sniping thing and all that stuff took place you can't really do that on a gun broker they have like a 15 minute rule or something but you can go on there buy stuff right away new used whatever i don't know if that's what this is we've got it it's in a uh completely there it is take a look at it take a gander so uh since i've you know, bought these, I and I've had, I don't know, a few people, like, want to know what the output is, like, which I don't even really, I'm not comparing it to an actual Surefire, but, like, you know, what is the light output? Because they do, they actually shine pretty good. This one, no. These don't have batteries, this one does, but, uh, so, the timing was right, and that should be what's in here, and I hope it works. A used one popped up on there. So I was like, you know what? Man, this thing is wrapped. I was like, what the heck? If it stays under, you know, set amount, I'll probably bid on it, right? You know how that is. You guys know. If you guys never bid on anything, you like see it, you like watch it, you like follow it for, you know, depending, it could be up to like a week or even longer or whatever. You're like just watching it. And then you're watching, and then it's like, oh, this thing may not go for, you know, certain whatever price. And that's what it is. So you're like, ah, uh, I'll bid on it. And then, oh, that thing is cold. Oh, that is so cold. Does it work? Look, look at that. So I bid on it. So real quick, comment below how much you think... I paid for this Surefire light. And if you don't know, brand new, this Surefire, they still sell this one. This is the Ultra. This isn't the Turbo. This still sells for, I've seen them up as much as uh, 3, 330. I think the Turbo, I've seen as high as 360. That's the newer version. They still sell this because the Turbo does something different. So if you don't know about those, I guess I should talk about them briefly. Uh, you can get, uh, I, was watch, I was just watching uh, uh, Roger over at QVO Tactical doing a video on uh, the older little attachment they had on this. It kind of came up and there was a pad, which actually not your this finger like a lot of them have, 
or uh, lasers and stuff have this thing is as you put your not your trigger finger but your first finger down on the grip just when you grip it it activates it well this thing I guess has a somehow wrap deal that comes up and it's your first uh, it's up here on your support you just push up a little higher and it would activate it and he says how he wishes they'd come back out with those I've never seen them until I saw his the one he had in his video but what I've uh, been watching on AliExpress, and I probably ought to buy one, they sell this in a, uh, because these are painted, by the way. These come with, like, all the plastics black. They sell an FDE colored one that has a, a little attachment that comes up. Uh, actually, yeah, it comes down, runs across the trigger, and then down to where... Uh, this pad of your finger activates it. And so I've been debating on getting one of those. They're like 10 bucks, And then you can get through primary, I think it's primary arms, maybe optics planet or maybe both. But you can get the uh, replacement parts of these for like 18 bucks. So originally I, I think, you know, I thought I might get those for these. And I'm like, I just paint them for now. So anyway, here is a comparison now, I painted this one just uh, the, with the FD color I had. So, the original Surefire that I don't, I don't think they make anymore. The X300 is what these are, like knockoffs of. So, they're really, they're, they have something out there that's not, I don't think, technically made anymore. But uh, the Surefire Ultras and uh, Surefire... Turbo are definitely still made, and I don't think they plan on uh, changing any of that up. So just, and I don't have it, uh, I guess I could make it dark just to compare them. Let's just take this off. This is the one I do have batteries in. So I can just tell you, though, by filling them, that I think this is a heavier one. i got my scale here somewhere. My fishing scale is somewhere, but I, I don't remember where. I should weigh them. So just looking at them, actually my color isn't far. It's definitely lighter of the plastic parts. The attachments or pieces are very close, but if you look, these are definitely etched in deeper than what your knockoff stuff is. Like I painted it, but I didn't. The paint didn't go in that thick. They were never that etched in that deep. In case you're looking at one. Like, there should be no way to, like, tell a knockoff from a real, I mean, I mean, there should be no way to mistake them. It should be so easy to tell. Like, if you come across a real old Surefire that you're thinking about buying, these knockoffs, uh, I don't think, are close enough to where you would mistake them. Like, there are some companies I've heard, I've never seen one in person, but the Humble Marksman talked about the, knock, the knockoff, like, SROs. And we definitely have knockoff, close to knockoff, hollow sand. <laughs> this one, I did a video on, I like blew the front out like three three shots in, the glass just blew out. But so far the lights for just doing what I want them to do, you know, just a kind of added weight up front and the light does work. Like I mentioned, I don't even know which one now I have eight or nine of these. I'll try to just show you by this. You can definitely tell this one's going to be brighter. So this is probably close to what the original, whatever the first Surefire X300 was supposed to put out. I don't know if you guys can see that. That Definitely. A little. And if you can see. I'll try to show you just to explain the difference if, if you're if you don't know. Actually, this one looks like it may have a more direct, so this one's spread out, and this one looks like a more, but it's probably a little less overall candela and lumens kind of thing. But the original Ultra here uh, has, is uh, a thousand lumens of just like light going out. The candela is that generated power, uh, so to speak. So you see, if you see that center, so it's supposed to be rated out to roughly a hundred and uh, like fifty meters or something. You can uh, see your target kind of thing. To where I have no idea what these knockoffs. They they definitely get the job done at night. If somebody was outside in my yard, 
say up to probably 20, 25 yards, I wouldn't have any issues seeing them, probably seeing what's in their hand. Uh, this one should be even better, and it's a more going to be a more spread even than this one, and definitely over the turbo. Uh, what what I was watching, I talked about that in a, another video. It was uh, T Rex Arms is who was doing it outside to where I think he was aiming just at a target twenty five yards out, maybe was it twenty five yards or fifteen? I don't know, but he was he would aim the. Uh, ultra at it and he had other targets spread out at like you know five to eight yards off on either side he had like three targets out there and this light kind of the why i thought that this is like for me would probably be the better choice anyway you can see like a broader area you could see all of that stuff you kind of see what's pretty much if it's in front of you this light it pretty much lets you see it out to a certain distance and when he turned on the turbo Although it was so bright, you know, the, the center was so, it was so bright on that target in the center, it actually did not spread out, and you couldn't even make out what's on either side. So you'd have to sweep it uh, more, you know, if you were... So, like, for me, if I just went outside and I want to see what's going on, I like the idea, in my opinion, over on a Ultra, something that just lights up the whole area, immediate area right out in front of you would be a choice over the turbo. Now, the turbo, you could do it. You'd turn it on, but but this was going to instantly give you more of a sweeping uh, coverage, light coverage. Now, as far as trying to blind your opponent, if you stepped out and you wanted to like, shine it right in somebody's face, the turbo is probably probably the king, uh, just as much as like what this Ultra would be over the original or the uh, you know knockoffs. So anyway, I just wanted to get them out, compare them. Now, when I get a chance, I, I might go ahead and put out a video. Probably when I'm uh, maybe even out in a fishing video, I'll make a video with to do with the lights or whatever. Once the, <laughs> We had snow today. So much for spring being right around the corner. So let's just do a little few more comparison. This one tells you right on it how many lumens. The battery. So this is definitely an improvement. Like this one, to where you release the, the latch for the battery compartment is just a, you can tell, a way better design. This one's like kind of high up. Technically, could definitely, uh, you know, because since this mounts on the bottom, you could hit that easier. That would, now they're not going to fall out because this is where this is mounted. But you could... You know, you could rub that on something and release it on these knockoffs to where on the, uh, I guess I should have showed you just in case the, everything is empty. Don't shoot the light. So, let's see what it looks like on this. Now if I had a uh, Delta Point Pro. Look at that. Wow. So here's an issue that I'm, I guess I'll, I'll, I could try that. You guys see that? That's kind of the issue you'll have with these when you first get them too. A little bit of wobble. So you can kind of tighten them up. I'll show you guys, I guess make this a full light video. So a lot of guys don't like this way, but see like that? Like there's no... No wiggling. I've tightened it up to this firearm. Uh, boom, boom, boom. It's going to... Uh, I can operate it. There's no movement. So if you get one of these... I'm going to try it with this one because as you see, I just picked it up. It's probably not going to fall off. But it's doing that, right? You go to activate it. Uh, whether you're doing it with your... Here's the way I like to do it with my support hand. But you can, you know, just be looking. You got your finger off the trigger, and you just want to, if you know you want it on for sure, just swipe it down or just push it. Works real good. Control's good. But that, with it wiggling around, definitely wouldn't be good. So what you can do, I'm going to try it. Give me one minute. Let me find, I know, I don't prepare for videos, but let me find a Allen 
wrench key that fits this. I know I've got one right here. I know, I know I've got one. Okay, here's one. So if you have this issue and you get a light and you bought it brand new and you're like, I just paid $300 for a light that won't even, it doesn't even fit my gun. Doesn't even fit my gun. Oh my God. What do I do? Well, here's a trick that hopefully will work with these. It works with the cheap ones. So loosen these screws on all of them. So make sure that that thing's loose. You're like, what? You're loosening it more? No. Here, hang on. So then you're going to want to put an applied pressure, like let's do this side first. Push it in as far as you can. There's ways, if if this won't work, there are ways you can do other stuff. But we're going to try this first and uh, try it out and see what happens. So push in towards the center. Not as hard as you can, but put some pressure on it. And while you're still holding, don't let off on that pressure. Tighten these back down. Keep holding that pressure in. Now you don't want to go crazy. That is aluminum and your metal screws. So you should be able to go sort of tight, but like not crazy. Okay, so that side's tight. Now turn it over and do the same thing over here. Push them in. Don't go crazy, but you know what I'm saying. Push it in. Now there's possibility we could have went too tight. and We may have to loosen one side or something. But I just start out, I push this thing in pretty much as far as I can. And I'm trying to look through the camera. And Okay, so we've got that. Now, unfortunately, this is about as far as we can go to, without doing some kind of modification. We just loosened screws, kind of held it, and tightened it up. So, all right, we're still a touch loose. So really from here, you're going to have to do some work on, and I, I don't know, I'll probably do that. Or I'm not sure if I want this on this farm. And each one, even though uh, your Glocks, your other stuff, and he didn't send any other stuff. There's also a whole different piece that hooks to here that actually has a thicker thing for like uh, your normal Picatinny railed uh, firearms. But this is what we've got to work with. So what you can do... Uh, is what we may have to do with this one. So I'm not going to do it in this video. This video will be too long if I go breaking out the Dremel and stuff. You can take this completely out. And what I'm going to have to do is you can do it a couple different ways. But I can just barely kind of create a little more gap. So like take a drill bit. I'll just kind of show you what I'm talking about doing. There's a few different ways, and then you can also, if I think it could be something to do with, yeah, it's definitely just, uh, okay, I think I see what I'll do. So I think the way I'm going to do it, it's like it just bowed out. I'm going to show you guys this. It's like it's bowed outward, like if you guys can see that. So what I'm going to do, you can do it two ways, technically, you could. You can come in here. Take take this out. You've got just a plastic piece. Just take your drill bit and kind of, or a, 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 if you have a file like this shape, and kind of hone the hole out, the, out that way. So as you're pushing in this way, it actually will, will let the plastic slide in more if you get what I'm saying. Or you can do what I'm going to do. I'm going to take these out. And then if you see where that is, I'm going to run this across sandpaper, turn this way. So turn this way and we'll take the outside will stay and that inside will uh, and I'll loosen these screws back up to show you what I'm talking about the inside of the bottom will actually uh, I'll be taking material off so then when I put it back on it'll suck it down tight and it'll bring basically the tops of these in a little and i'll probably do it with both and it won't take a lot because this isn't it's it's just barely it's a little loose if you want that like complete tight lock up it's not going to really like that's on it's just you know if you're like me and you don't want that wobbling around noise 
that's what I'm going to do to fix uh, that. And I'll probably try it on. You know what? I'm going to try it real quick. Don't go anywhere. And then I'm in this video. I'm just going to see if it's that loose on this firearm, too. Because some of these do make a difference. Just to show you that it's empty. This one don't have a battery either. i got to get some more batteries. So, just to... Retighten this side. Let me make sure that I also loosen these up enough. Okay. All right, let me do this. Now get this video over with. Let's try it on the firearm. Oh, yeah, it's even looser. So, yeah, it's just a loose fit on the daggers. It may be tighter on something else, which it's not intended for. It's going to go on one of my daggers. So, or actually, I've got, a, uh, I've got another firearm in mind that you need to stay tuned for that I may get. That it may go right on. But either way, I can always... Uh, it, it doesn't matter if I take some of that material, if I take just a little off and I tighten it up, then I can always just loosen these and then let them, you know, just be free and then tighten them down or squeeze them together back and forth. So I hope you guys can see what I'm talking about doing. It'll just bring, if you can look at that light right now, it's almost like it's pushed out anyway. So I'll sand it down. Actually, I'm going to do it anyway, so I'm not going to... Let's just take these screws out. And I'll show you what I'm talking about doing. And they do tighten down. The screws aren't stripped. That's not what the problem is. It's the tolerances are just a little loose. Who knows? That could be why they got rid of the slides. Like, it won't fit right on my gun. Well, sometimes you just have to modify things. Right out of the box. So let's get these screws all the way out. So, what I'll end up doing is I'll, I'm basically sanding it to bring some of this inner material off. And then that'll let that lay more in and it'll tighten it up. So, anyway, hopefully you liked that video. It's not that hard to do. I just, there's no point in waiting around for me uh, two to five minutes to, to do the whole process. Plus me trying to hurry along the process. I just like to take my time when I'm tinkering, actually truly starting to work on something. I do like the idea of the light. I uh, guess, should I tell I'm not going to tell you how much I paid for this. But I wanted to get one for the channel. I will do a comparison at some point. Uh, you know, uh, out on that, when I finally get uh, probably to an outdoor range and it's, uh, you know, in the lighting, I can kind of show... Uh, you know, the difference between the two will get them both in action. You can clearly tell this one is used and has been, you know, I wouldn't call it beat up. It's, uh, it's just been used. So anyway, hopefully you like that video. Comment what you think. How much would you pay? Do you like, uh, you're like, there's no way I would pay $300 for a light either? Well, <laughs> I... I did pay $200 for this light. I can't even believe it when I just said it. $200. I know a lot of you guys are like, yeah, that's no problem because it's this or that. But for me, just going to the range, that's all I'm doing with my firearms. That's a, that's way too much money. For You can buy, who ain't nobody going to buy a high point, right? Do you guys buy high points? I don't. But these are 20 bucks basically. Uh, I actually got some of these. I got them on a deal. I bought, I think, four or five at once. And they were having a sale, you know. And it was like under $20 shipped. And wherever the one is, it does have batteries in it. Somewhere, one hit, there it is. They do work. They do, uh, I can see 
you know, in any area in my house, outside any point in my yard, I can make out uh, what's going on with that. It's like a kind of, I would just consider it like a real good quality flashlight. Works real good. Uh, is it equivalent to the old Surefire? It, uh, just by the first glance, comparing it to this uh, Ultra, I would say if you can make that out. But no, it's definitely, this is probably more like a five to 600 lumens, maybe. And that's supposed to be a thousand. Do you see how it, like when it first hits, then it settles down? It's like, poo. Both of them do it. See that? Boom. Definitely, this is more of like a white light. And this has a little other something to it. This looks like it may be also not quite a spread, more of a point. But anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Get out, go bass and bonsai. Stay tuned for future videos, and you'll see that this is tightened up on whatever firearm I have it on. It will not wiggle when I'm done with it, right? Wiggle while you work? No. Get out of here. I got to go.